What is up guys? So today we are finally back again on Dreamscape. So I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in so long. I've actually been on holiday, but we've got 200 event boxes to open here today. And basically where you get these from, if you look at the last update, they introduced the pinata. So it's actually a community event to smash the pinata. And the people who do the most damage get event boxes and an additional 10 event boxes are dropped in the ground for players to pick up. You can't use like weapons, gear or pets. And this is basically what it looks like. So it does look really cool. And event boxes actually give some really decent loot. So, so yeah, we're going to be opening up 200 of them and hopefully we get some good loot. So yeah, let's begin. All right. So yeah, it does usually tend to just give other mystery boxes, such as like the double or nothing box, super mystery boxes, and yeah, maybe you can get a rest off from those as well. So what we'll probably do is just open all of the event boxes first, and then open all of the other boxes afterwards. So yeah, these are really cool boxes, because you get like a huge variety of loot from these. And the last one, a super mystery box, so yeah, you can see we've got loads of different types of boxes. So far, the double or nothing box seems to be pretty rare, so hopefully get a few more of those. Two dynamic mystery boxes, so yeah, I think it is a rare reward if you get multiple mystery boxes from a single box box if you just get one then look you can see if that's rare because we just got two invictus boxes from one box we need two inventory slots i really do like quadrant boxes though because like they tend to give loads of cash and like you can even get up to like five quadrillion especially from like the quadrant plus boxes three quadrant boxes from a single event box so yeah if you do get like the pinata event in game you can make a lot of money because all these boxes cost like a few dollars each so yeah, i think rare is two boxes whereas ultimate is three boxes which is a lot of boxes so yeah, really happy with these to be honest. I might just speed this up until we get to the part of opening the in individual boxes because we do seem to be getting the same loot. Or I think wisdom boxes are like a really rare reward from these because those would cost like $40 each on the donator store since the auras are really overpowered. So yeah, there's a reason they cost that much. Well, we got so many tactical boxes just then. And another three Invictus boxes as well. Okay. Alright, so we finally finished opening all of those boxes, so yeah, the Pet Mystery, Super Mystery, Quadrant, Dynamic, Invictus, and the Tactical boxes all seem to be pretty common, so we got quite a lot of those, but we did manage to get three Double or Nothing box, three Mega Crates, and even one Warfare box, so yeah, these three types of boxes are really rare. So yeah, if you want to actually take a look at all the loot each of these different types of boxes give, if you type colon colon deals, and then click on box deals, and click view all box rewards, you can actually look at all the different types of boxes, and all the different loot they give. So the super mystery boxes, like the rarest stuff, is like the piano, sky santa, quadrant boxes, the regular ones at least, they can give up to two quadrillion in cash, like the mega crate, all pretty much really good stuff, like you can get Mario's head, Luigi's head, which are worth quadrillions, and even the yellow santa hat, which is one of the rarest items in games, so all of this stuff can give some really good loot. So I'm quite looking forward to opening all these boxes now. All right, we're going to start with the pet mystery boxes. So hopefully these give some decent loot. So yeah, the rarest pets you can get from these like Viraga Jr., Diablo Jr., the Rick and Morty pet, Kangaroo Egg, and even the mystery box pet. So yeah, those are all like the really ultra ones. And all well, these are like common. So yeah, I'm hoping I can get at least one of those purple ones. So yeah, it does say like the rarity of the item when you do get it. So, so far we're just getting common rewards. Come on, let's get something good. Vetion. Oh my god, the first eight have all been common. When is a lot going to stop? At least get an uncommon one. Come on, this is not fair. Oh, we got a Mage Grey pet, so yeah, that's actually rare, so that's worth a few trillion, so I'm really happy with that. First rare pet of all the boxes we've opened so far, so not bad, but yeah, we're literally getting so many common ones. Like, how many Pikachu pets have we got already? Six. Wow, that is a ridiculous amount. Alright, another Venonatus pet. I don't know why we're getting so many common rewards. Alright, only two boxes left. Oh, a Camel Egg. Alright, that's actually another rare one, so yeah, we've got two rare ones down the first inventory, which I'd say is not too bad, so yeah, pretty happy with that. Another 18 left to open, though, so hopefully we can get at least one, maybe legendary reward although the rarity of it is like really unlikely but we still got another eight boxes left we can hope you know come on all right five boxes left and all we're getting are just common rewards oh we got a bandos egg all right that's a very rare reward so yeah bandos egg is one of those yellow ones literally in the same bracket as a chaos elemental pet so yeah i'm really happy i managed to actually get that two boxes left though not really expecting anything i'll take that bandos egg all right we're actually going to move on to the super mystery boxes now so yeah these can be like legendary weapon 
and Sky. So yeah, these can give like extreme donated tickets, legendary weapons, and loads of other really cool stuff. But we don't only have 40, so I'm not really expected to get too much. But nonetheless, it would be few, it would be nice to get a few rare rewards. Drago off and you, that looks really cool. Dragonborn plate body you, chest key. We've got three of those already. A basal tentacle, right? Not bad. Oh, we actually managed to get a fallen death case, so yeah, that's actually an ultimate reward, and it's actually fairly rare. And I'm pretty sure. <gasps> oh my God, no way! We got a piano. <gasps> oh my God, I literally said that was another possible reward. No way we actually actually get that. Like, look how it looks as well. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh my God, we actually managed to get one. I was not expecting that at all. And we got an American tour body on the last one, but no way we actually got a piano. That is actually insane. It's literally worth so much as well. And we still got another 21 to open. Like, we only opened like 20 something. And American Torva <laughs> on the first box. Was that back to back American Torva? I think all we need left is just the legs and then we've got a complete set. So yeah, I would take that. A flame tour of body too, that's not bad. Chaotic claws, so we're getting loads of common rewards now, which I don't really want to see. I think assault rifle is probably like the best common reward you can get, since they're still worth like two trillion since there's like a chance to upgrade it to a scoped rifle. Oh, we just got another fallen death cape and flame gloves as well. They were back to back, that's pretty cool. All right, last box, a bit of tentacle. So yeah, I'm really happy with the loot from the super mystery boxes because we did get the piano and it. Almost complete American Torva set, which is really cool to see. All right, now onto the quadrant boxes. So yeah, these are literally just pure cash, and depending on how lucky you get, you get more or less cash. And ultra 128 trillion already. I want to see that number just jump into the thousands, because then you know you've hit like a legendary jackpot where you get like up to two quadrillion. So yeah, hopefully we do get that. But so far, it does seem like we're just getting common rewards. Come on, give us something like really good. We've only had like we're not even at 200 trillion yet, and we still got another two boxes left to go. Come on. I mean, we got one ultra reward, but still, that was really not worth it come on i was expecting a lot more cash than this come on game don't disappoint me 209 trillion 211 all right not bad i guess come on we need a lot more than this though oh my god all right five boxes left and oh we got a rare reward and our last box Oh my god, we only got like two non-common rewards. Alright, now we have like 44 dynamic mystery boxes. So these can give stuff like the Soul Flare, Yoda Pet, Keon Staff. Imagine if we actually got that. Like there's so many rare loot that we could potentially get. The odds of getting it are really low, so I'm not really expecting too much. Some of the other common rewards will still go for a decent amount of money. So Dream Range Potion, really useful for like combat. Oh, we got an American Tour Helm, alright? That's actually pretty good. Oh my god, someone just got a Soul Flare from the dynamic box. No way, I thought that was me for a second there because I saw dynamic box and then I read the name and it wasn't so and it was twisted pure but yeah congrats to that dude he just got really lucky on these as well so we're under five though American tour body literally we had two helms and two bodies now in total from all of these boxes together a super mystery box all right I'll open that and the last one oh <gasps> Oh my god, we just got Eclipse Legs. Oh wait, no. Oh my <laughs> I just thought we got Eclipse Legs, but I actually unequipped that. But yeah, American Pony Chap, still still pretty good. We've got another 24 dynamic mystery boxes to go. There's still loads of potentials to get some good loot. Ice Kastan off end, that's really good to be honest. Shasta Brutal Whip, not bad. <laughs> We're getting so many Dream XP potions. Another American Tower Body, a Scope Rifle U, and American Pony Scout. But yeah, I do really want the American Tower Leg. Oh my, another body! <laughs> right as I said that, this game is just trolling me. Oh my god. Another Scope Rifle in the same inventory those actually go for quite a decent amount oh american top of plate legs there we go finally oh that took way too long three scopes rifle use in one inventory and the gold chain all right there are the american top of legs i was looking for bug bob egg and two trillion from the quad from the quadrant box all right now we are on to the invictus boxes all right so we have got around 40 of these and what these give are like like i showed earlier they can give a crow with zanuck mario's head luigi's head different types of lightsabers american boxing gloves darkly spirit shield and loads of other really cool stuff so hopefully i do get lucky especially with the loot that we got from the Invictus boxes. We deserve some luck now. Although we can't really complain because we did get that piano. <gasps> oh my god, we got a super donated ticket. All right, that's actually a really good reward. All right, I can't believe we actually got one of those, but still. Incomplete legs straight up. Oh my. <laughs> what? <laughs> What? Back to back? What is this game? We just got Blue Death Cape and then play legs back to back. Oh my god. Two epic rewards as well. But yeah, I think the Super Donated Tickets are the best thing we've had. <gasps> what? Another pair of Inga Play Legs. Oh my. Why can't we get like the Plate Body, the Helm, but still? Torval Plate Body and the Torval Legs. Oh, Prime Torval Legs, actually. That's not bad. Right, we've got 21 Invictus boxes left. Hopefully, we can get some Legendary Rewards or something like that. Oh, we got a Crossbow Part 1. So yeah, these boxes do give Invictus weapon parts like the Crossbow Staff and the Sword as well, I believe. And yeah, they can all be used to make Invictus weapons, so another American Pernix piece and another American Torva Helm. Wow, not bad. 
and another body we've had so many of these honestly like two boxes left and Pernix chest and finally dreamwing boots all right that's actually pretty good so yeah we got some pretty solid loot from the invictus boxes all right now we're gonna open the tactical boxes all right so what these can give are like bazookas and lightsabers and loads of really cool weapons including the soul flare pbsh and the ump silence so yeah these are some pretty new weapons and yeah they basically give a lot of cool guns zarat bow not really what i'm looking for but Oh my god, there we go, the UMP, that's an ultimate reward right there. A regular assault rifle. Oh, an ascension crossbow offhand, that's pretty decent. Ice katana, back-to-back -back ice katana is not bad. All right, we just got like three ice katanas within five boxes, and another UMP, our second one of the inventory. All right, we're getting some really good loot so far. Two more boxes left, and the last box, a royal sickle, not bad. 20 more boxes left from this inventory. A Zarate bow, chaotic claws, not bad. Another assault rifle. Oh my god, all right, these are actually... Oh, Inga sword, I was just about... <gasps> Golden katana! as well that's actually like an upgraded version of the ice katana so that's even better a rifle scope regular armadillo crossbow like i was about to say we were getting some pretty bad rewards and then we just get an inga sword and then there's golden katana straight after that oh my god another inga sword as well that's our second one this inventory right two boxes left and a third inga sword what the hell oh my god all right we got an upgraded royal sickle as the last one right now onto the rare boxes so three double nothing boxes three mega crates and one warfare box so hopefully get some good stuff we won chaotic claws all right that's literally trash we're gonna gamble it. Oh, we got a flying tour helm soon. Uh, American tour body. So if we gamble, we can get any of these three items. But you can see the rarity of stuff here. So we landed on ultimate, but there is potential to get like legendary or dream. So I think I'm gonna gamble it because I have way too many American tour bodies already. Unlocking one nothing. No. Ah, oh, chaotic claws. All right, those are trash. And oh, I want nothing again. No. All right. Mega crate, come on. Flame Panix Cow, Blue Torva Legs, and the last one, Blue Brutal Whip. And lastly, the Warfare Box. Oh, we got a Versus set. That's so unlucky. There's so many different sets we could have gotten. Anyway, guys, so this is pretty much all the loot that I actually got in total from all of those 200 event boxes. So as you can see, we've got loads of Dragon Bone, American pieces, loads of potions, pets like that piano. That's probably like the most expensive thing we got in total from all of the boxes. So yeah, I am really happy that we actually did get that. We also got some Ice Katanas, loads of Next pieces, some Chess Keys, Super Donator Ticket, which is worth a few hundred trillion so that's actually probably like our second best item so yeah really happy with that two fallen death capes both really rare we got two inga plate legs loads of flame pernix um a blue death cape which is worth like 100 trillion dreamwing boots a three inga swords a golden katana four scopes rifles and yeah that's pretty much like all the really good stuff so the loot in total wasn't actually that bad so i'm really happy with it anyway guys i'm actually gonna be giving away 10 of these event boxes to one lucky winner so to enter that giveaway all you have to do is just like the video subscribe to my channel and comment your own game name on Dreamscape. And before you comment your name, make sure you actually register log in first, although someone could take your account name. So make sure that doesn't happen to you, but that's pretty much all you need to do to enter. So, and now I'm actually gonna pick the results from the previous video for the one quadrillion cash giveaway. So good luck to everyone on that. Right, so the winner of the one quadrillion cash goes to Aelin. Congratulations, dude. You just won yourself one quad cash. So just PM me in game or in Discord and I'll give you a prize. So congratulations again. Anyway, guys, definitely do make sure to try out this server. There's currently like over 300 online and at peak times it's like over 500 and it's by far one of the most active customers servers that i've played and it has like constant updates like the last one was absolutely massive so yeah if you haven't tried out already then definitely make sure to the link to the server is in the description below and it would help me out a lot if you did click on that link since it is a referral link so yeah clicking on that would help me out a lot so make sure to do that and yeah don't forget to enter the giveaway because you could have a chance of winning these event boxes so good luck on that and thanks for watching the video guys